Hello everyone, my name is Caleb with Wolf Construction Group. Um, today we're going to talk about two huge questions that we get asked probably almost on a weekly if not daily basis. Um, and that is, should I get interior waterproofing done or should I get exterior waterproofing done? Um, you know, water intrusion obviously is a, a big factor in, in what we uh, remedy every day here at Wolf. Um, so I'm just going to go through a couple pros and cons for each scenario. Um, interior waterproofing, which is what you see here, this crawl space we're in. Uh, this is a uh, fully encapsulated crawl space. Uh, there's no insulation, um, insulation board on the walls in this space, um, but it is fully encapsulated. Um, we have, you know, the nice April air dehumidifier here. Um, this is a great space. It's um, consistently climate controlled. Um, it has full perimeter French drains uh, diverted to a sump pump, which is in the lowest corner of the crawl space. Um, this is a pretty cut and dry scenario of something that we install on a regular. Um, this is a great scenario for controlling moisture in the crawl space. Uh, we can do similar things in a basement as well. Um, so, you know, this helps with the, you know, humidity in your home also. Um, it can also affect the air quality. Um, it can affect the heating and cooling um, of your home. Um, you can make it a little more energy efficient for you. Um, you know, and the list kind of goes on and on. Um, exterior waterproofing, um, there's several methods and ways of doing that. Um, Sometimes, especially in basements, it's a must-have. Um, a lot of times it is a little more invasive. Um, if you have nice landscaping, anything like that, electrical plumbing, um, that can definitely fall into consideration um, on the price. You know, that may need to be moved, rerouted. Obviously, if there's landscaping there, you know, that's going to have to go because essentially it's your waterproofing, especially if it's a basement, um, which is the most, you know, we see that most often we need it in a basement situation. We have to dig all the way down to the footing, which is at the very bottom of that basement wall. Um, so as you can imagine, you know, that can be a big undertaking. But in some cases, it is necessary. Um, in some cases, it's also necessary to have both. Um, you know, if, if you want to have a climate controlled space, you want to get that air quality in your space, you know, etc. But you also need an extra layer of waterproofing on the outside, you know, to control it properly. You know, sometimes you do have to have both. Um, I wouldn't say that's that's pretty rare for us to see that, but it does happen. Ultimately, at the end of the day, call a professional. Let us come out and evaluate it. You know, we'll kind of evaluate what's the best, most cost-effective solution for you um, so that you're not wasting time and money. And again, reach out to us at wolf.construction. And thank you for watching.